Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, my friends. We're on the 17th episode and guys, thank you very much once again for your hints, tips and suggestions as well as your support in the last episode. I really, really do appreciate it. I've got some comments up to the side of me, uh, which we will hopefully be actioning in today's episode. But guys, if you're excited for the episode, as always, a like rating is by far and away the best way. Let me know if you do want to continue seeing more. I know that Ark isn't as popular as Terraria on the channel. I'm well aware of that. But uh, the support that you guys have been showing for those of you guys who are watching this series, I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. Now, I have been a busy beast since the last episode because I kind of decided that where my base was previously, there basically was nothing there in terms of resources. Like, uh, I was looking up on the Ark Survival of Old Wiki, and apparently there's a resource map which shows you where all of the resources are. And basically where I had set up, it had literally nothing. So I decided that that is a bit of a lost cause of a base, and I brought over my more important dinos over to a brand new base, guys. It is made of wood. Only wood, not stone, but guys, it is a good, good base. I have worked on this very, very hard, very tirelessly. And ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, boom! Here we go. Look at the size of it. It is a two by four in terms of, you know, the, the foundation size. So a grand total of eight were used. And it is four walls tall, okay? It is a mammoth of a base, my friends. Check this out. It is on top of a mountain. And the greatest thing about this place, guys, the greatest thing about this place is this. Check this out, guys. Check out the sheer amount of rich metal rocks we got around here. All of these superiorly bright looking rocks, these are all rich metal rocks. And boys, there are a lot of them. And uh, in addition to that, also, there's a whole bunch of crystal here as well. The only thing that isn't here, sadly, is obsidian, but I don't mind going ahead and, uh, you know, cutting my losses there, going out, going out, trying to find some obsidian, all that kind of stuff. In fact, I've already done that since the last episode because there's a few things I want to make in today's episode. So, yeah, look, guys, look, my base is on top of a mountain, which is also very, very near where I found an explorer note previously, which is actually this little thing right here. Explorer note, bada bing, bada boom. So I just decided, oh, hey. It might be a pretty cool idea to build a base on top of here. So that's exactly what I did. So here we go, my friends. This is actually the back entrance. We do have a front entrance over here, as you can see. We've got our saber tooth just outside here. This gal is now level 13. Very, very good. One of the things that you guys were saying with regards to the saber tooth is you can use the saber tooth to harvest chitin and keratin. And apparently the harvest rate is very, very high. And I can second that. I killed a whole bunch of spiders since the last episode. And check this out, guys. There's a lot of chitin in here. A lot of chitin indeed, in fact. In fact, if I just go down here, in fact, I've already got like a whole bunch here. So, yeah, now I've got like 274, which is not bad if you ask me, okay? Not bad at all if you ask me. Right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start doing some various bits and bobs. I'll uh, take you guys on a bit of a mini tour here very shortly. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, put these bits of food on the fire. There we go, fantastic. Got myself some uh, prime fish meat, because why not? <laughs> Apparently you can use the sickle to get prime fish meat from fish. So that's exactly what I've been doing. As you can see, I've got my metal hatchet back. I've got my metal sickle back. I've also got a crossbow. And yeah, basically everything is looking absolutely hunky-dory, fine and dandy. It really, really is. All right, let's have a little bit of water. This is the only problem with this base location. It is not near any water sources. I have to take my saber tooth down to the bottom of the mountain. And you may be able to see way down in the distance there. That is indeed the river. So I can grab myself some water from there. It would be nice if there was one closer, but you know, sometimes you have to cut your losses, sometimes you have to compromise, do you not? So yeah, anyways guys, let's have a bit of a tour of this place, shall we? So in the front door, we have ourselves our smithy going on right here, looking very, very nice. There's our crystal supply as it currently stands, looking very good if I do say so myself. But if we carry on, we've got ourselves a refining forge here, we've got ourselves the pestle and mortar, and we've got a couple of little chests here. This one's full of seeds, this one is full of fiber, apparently. It's supposed to be building materials, but most of them have wound up in here. Anyways, moving on. Got ourselves a campfire, got ourselves a fabricator. Within the fabricator, there are many things going on. A whole bunch of cementing paste. There's the obsidian I was mentioning. We got 
get this, guys. 153 meta lingots now. I have been a very busy bee since the last episode, guys. And check this out. There's another 47 in there. And it's still smelting a ton more, which is really, really cool. Right, let me go ahead and put that in there. Let's make some gunpowder because, guys, yes, today is going to be the day, okay? Today is going to be the day in which we make our very, very first gun, okay? We're going to make our very first gun, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But in the meantime... Let's go and check out the upstairs, shall we? Because as you can see, I have a proper staircase, guys. A proper staircase. The only thing is, as I go up, I have to crouch to get up because of this, uh, you know, I'll just bash my head on there otherwise. But anyways, we've got ourselves a bed here. The cool thing is, because I've got beds all around the rest of the place, I can just go ahead and quick travel back to my original base if I need to get something Although saying that, would it be a good idea for me to have a Tyranodon at the old base as well? I feel like that would be a good idea. Is it just me? It's just so we're able to fly back if we need to? Because obviously when you fast travel, you lose all of your stuff, okay? You have to put all your stuff away and then you go. In the meantime, look at this, guys. We've got some very special bobs here. We've got ourselves a blueprint for a Stego saddle and a blueprint for a Pulmonoscorpius. Pulmonoscorpius saddle. Scorpion? Must be a scorpion, right? Huh. Those are found in the snow biomes, right? Okay, shouldn't be too difficult. In the meantime, got ourselves a bunch of berries. Got an Ichthyornis egg. Uh, pretty randomly, actually. Uh, my my Ichthyornis decided to lay one, even though there's no mating or anything involved, which is really weird. But anyways, yeah, things are looking good, guys. So, let me go ahead and remind myself of the recipe for some of these here guns. Okay, so as you can see, we've got ourselves the shotgun. Requires 80 metal ingots. We could make that right now if we wanted to. We've also got the long neck rifle. But, I've just remembered as well, what would be a good idea in the meantime. We've got us... Ooh, fiber. Ooh, might be a good idea to start making some... Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, my, oh, no, I just wasted a bit of gasoline and I don't have a lot of oil left. Ah, that was that was rather dumb, wasn't it? Right, so I'm going to put some metal ingots in there, okay? And then we are also going to put ourselves a bunch of fiber. So let's go get a stack in a bit. So a little bit of that. There we go. Look at this, guys. We can make Kano saddles, saber tooth saddles, all sorts of stuff. Bear trap is one of the things I would indeed like to make because apparently these things are very effective for immobilizing large creatures. So, yeah. Would it be worth me making, like, multiple of them? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. When you make stuff within a crafting station, it stays in the crafting station. It doesn't just transfer to your inventory. I wish it did. I wish there was a setting that you could change so it did do that, so it would automatically transfer from this to this. Would make sense, right? But in the meantime, guys, check this out as well. I am now level 61. 61 guys i think at the end of the last episode we were what rank 55 56 54 something around that general haze of numbers but now we're level 61 because i made this huge base and uh, making bases is probably by far the best way of getting yourself a bunch of X xp uh, towards you know leveling up uh, in addition to you know explorer notes which is something i found and also regarding explorer notes a lot of you guys were saying that uh, if you walk over the explorer note with your dino it also gets the buff i can confirm that is definitely a thing as well so again i appreciate your guys's feedback and hints and tips i really do appreciate it but uh, yeah things are looking good guys so look at this guys look at this we have 234 engram points to spend which is insanity, if you ask me. So let's go way, way down. Let's see what we can get at level 61. An air conditioner requires electricity to run. Provides insulation from both the heat and cold to an area. That's really good here because earlier I was overheating here. The temperature here was getting to like 42 and I was losing health. So actually that might be a good idea to unlock. So let's get the air con unit. That would be a good idea. There we go. Uh, 41 engram points. Wait, what's the prerequisite? Refrigerator. Okay, so we've just unlocked the refrigerator as well. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got a Castoroids saddle, a Basilosaurus saddle, a Daedon saddle, a Metal Tree platform. We've got the Assault Rifle and Advanced Rifle bullet. Maybe this is the... Oh, it requires 60 polymer though. Ah, but then again, you guys left a tip regarding polymer as well in that we should just go to the freaking snow biome, kill a bunch of penguins, and apparently you can get yourself a bunch of polymer that way. So that might be a good idea if I take, uh, well, I can't take an assault rifle. I'll have to take a different gun. But check this out, guys. I can also make myself a metal set of armor, otherwise known as flak armor. It has one 
100 armor points per piece. Okay, that is insane. We've got a pump action shotgun that again requires polymer. Hmm, shoddy assault rifle. I'm tempted to have both of these. Sounds like a good idea, but we're going to need a lot of polymer. A lot of polymer and cementing paste. It's going to be quite a thing. Right, there we go. So let's get that going. We've got ourselves the entire set of iron armor, basically. Or metal armor, whatever the hell you want to call it. And in the meantime, guys, check this out. We can make ourselves a canteen. And that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Because that would be very, very nice. So, if I go over here. If I turn this on... There we go, there's polymer. Let's make ourselves a bunch, and then we should be able to make ourselves the canteen, right? Yeah, this is it. We just need 10. We're going to get 12. So, guys, we're going to get ourselves a canteen, which is going to be a very, very, very much upgraded version of the water skin I have going. Hopefully, it can, like, store, like, multiple loads of water. That'll be awesome. There we go. Cementing paste. Oh, damn it. I, I, I messed up there. Right, do I have any cementing paste in there? Oh, 23. I am very glad that I overcompensated. <laughs> right, turn on. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're making ourselves an upgrade of water skin. Yee, yeah, buddy. Super looking forward to this. I think it will still be worth us keeping, uh, you know, the other one on us as a bit of a backup. Would that be a good idea? I think it would be. So let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. And now we've got a canteen, guys. Hey, not bad, not bad. Right, do we want just a regular shoddy? I mean, I'm down to make a simple shotgun ammo. We require simple bullets. How does one make a simple bullet? It's just a bunch of gunpowder. Okay, gunpowder, I have got an absolute metric ton of this stuff. Look at that. We've got loads of it. We can make a lot of ammo. There we go, simple bullet, craft 15. Is that it? Oh, it requires six per time. Wow. Huh, okay, cool. Right, shotgun. Oh, it's going to take the metal ingots out. Damn it, man. All right, we need a gun. We need more metal. Thank you very much. Boom. Metal shoddy. Oh, my God, guys. The first ever gun we're making. We're making a shotgun, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping this thing is going to be absolutely brilliant up in close range. Maybe we can even kill, like, the Therizinosauruses. Therizinos? Yeah, because those guys are a massive pain in the ass, basically. And I would very much prefer if they would die a, 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 a bunch of times. Right. Oh, we need even more gunpowder. Wow. We're going to need even more gunpowder if we want to make ourselves shotgun shells. And we'll only be able to make ten of them anyway. Wow. Dudes, we need ourselves a ton of stuff. Okay. So... I mean, we've got a steady supply of charcoal building up, I guess. But we're going to need a lot more. The bad thing is, I know that back at my old base, I've got myself a ton of gunpowder. So, I may have to quick travel or maybe just take my Tyranodon and just go, I guess. Eh, okay, let's do that. Alright guys, so I've just ransacked my old place, and yes, I do have a ton of gunpowder, 182 of it in fact, and in addition to that, I've got myself a bunch of chitin, keratin, spark powder, which is required to make gunpowder, and some more cementing paste, as well as gasoline, so, yeah, things are looking good, we've also got ourselves a level up, guys, so let's go and see what we get at level 62, I'm gonna increase melee damage, why not, alright, so here we go, level 62, what do we get? An Argent Tavis saddle. A lot of you guys have been saying we should try and tame one of these. Ooh. Tranquilizer dart can be used with a long neck rifle. Cannot be used with attachments. Requires narcotics, simple rifle ammo, and various other bits of bobs, basically. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Unlock both of them. Tranquilizer darts are probably going to prove to be quite useful. The only thing is, we, we made the wrong kind of gun. So, yeah. The long neck rifle is what we needed. Not the shoddy. So, basically, I done messed up, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, we're done here. Let's get back to the mountain base, and uh, we'll continue on from there. Alrighty, guys. Here we are back in action. We got ourselves a bunch of gunpowder now. A lot of it has just been used to create ourselves a bunch of simple bullets. So, things are looking good there. So, check this out, guys. I can make 20 shotgun pellets, which is really, really awesome. So, let's get that going. We're also going to try and make ourselves a bunch of simple rifle ammo and then from that we can combine it with some narcotics to get ourselves some tranquilizer darts okay so if we grab ourselves out some narcotics from here only 17 it has to be said i thought i had a little bit more 
but, you know, it is what it is, isn't it, guys? And then also, of course, we need to make ourselves the long neck rifle, so let's get that thing going. And there we go. We can make ourselves five tranquilizer darts, and apparently these things are even more, even more effective than tranquilizer arrows. So I'm hoping that, uh, yeah, we'll be able to down some really large dinos and start taming them, because I'd love to do that. Right, how's my level looking right now? Uh, nearly at 63. Wow. Okay, so let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get this and tranquilizer darts. There we go. Let's put the simple rifle ammo away. And uh, yeah, let's start doing this thing, man. Oh my god. Oh, this feels so weird having a gun in this game, man. I've never had a gun in Ark Survival Evolved, guys. This is amazing. And there we go. We can start putting a tranquilizer dart into this thing. Yeah! Oh man, this feels so weird! I don't know what kind of power it has, but I kind of want to take down something really high-end. Like I said, I'm thinking like Therizino saws. I don't know. When do I get a Therizino saddle? Uh, Ther... Uh, six, level 69. Okay, so we've still got a little bit to go uh, before we can tame and get one of those, but uh, yeah. Not bad. If I just type in saddle, there we go. We can actually see everything that we've gotten so far, or haven't got so far. Argentavis, uh, Daedon, Megalosaurus. Ooh, okay. We've got ourselves Woolly Rhino. Wow. Parasa Platform Saddle. Equip a Parasaratherium. I don't know what the hell that is. Megalodon saddle. That is something... That's a fish, isn't it? It's a big-ass fish. A shark type thing. Baryonyx. Skype, please shut up. Thank you. Right. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Everything's looking good. Right. Anyways, guys. Just to finish off this episode. I know we haven't actually done a great deal this episode. Aside from, you know, show you guys the house. And all that kind of stuff. But I really do want to give this thing a go. Okay. So, let me just uh, eat up real quick. We're going to take our saber too. So, we can have a quick escape. And we are going to find ourselves a Thera Therizinosaur. And we're going to kick its ass. Hopefully. So, yeah. Oh, hello, Carbonemis. You're not that useful to me right now, sir. What is useful is if I found a Therizinosaur. So, let's go kick some butt. Or in the meantime, we've got a raptor following us right now. I'm not entirely sure of the power of this thing, but I guess we can find out. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's, he's buggered off somewhere. Hey! Hey, you keep targeting me, sunshine. I need to kill you. The amount of times these freaking raptors have killed me in this series. It's about time I got myself some... Hey! Hey! Yeah, go on, Sabretooth. You can do this, my friend. Oh my goodness me, dude, we're just freaking one shot at a raptor. Hey! Oh, you son of a... Hey, Dilophosaur! D no, 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 J just no, no. My saber tooth will absolutely outplay you, son. Right, I still want to try and find myself a really high-end uh, Therizino, though. So, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. I can see them down here. Oh my god, guys, we're going to do this thing. I think we need to reload this thing. Oh, it was already reloaded. Okay, cool. Right, okay. I could see him walking around in the forest there. I'm not entirely sure if any of these other dinos are hostile. I mean, there's some Dil Dilophosaurs down there. I just... Hello? Oh, no. Not Trodons. No, I hate Trodons, man. They are the most pain in the ass dino in this game. I am pretty damn sure. Oh, you're an embarrassment, sir. Get off me. What do I even do at this point? I can't see. Buddy? Hello? Hello? Is that it? It's another Dilophosaur! Get off me! Freaking idiot, man! These guys think they're so tough. Y'all ain't... Oh my goodness me. Look at the amount of meat this guy's got. I need to reduce your weight just a little bit there, buddy. In fact, why don't I give you some more carry weight? That would do the job very nicely. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, can you stop preening yourself so I can, you know, do stuff? Okay, right. Let's do this thing, my friends. Let's do this thing. Right, all I need to do is get down here. Uh, well, I need to... Oh, no! I hate these guys, man. They're such a pain! I literally hate Trodons! Go on, then. Three of you. I think I could take these guys. Ah! 
That's one. That's two. That's three. Trode on scumbags. You just got outplayed, dude. You got absolutely outplayed, son. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all of the meat. Oh, my good lord. Okay. Hello. Um, okay. <laughs> wow, look at the amount of hide this guy's got. That's insane. Wow. Right, let's try this again, shall we? And hopefully not get absolute... Hey, buddy, I need to I need to make him... Uh, I need to make him aggro on me, preferably. Right, here we go. This is where I'm coming. Right, there we go. Run away, run away, run away. How fast is he? Oh, he's quite quick, isn't he? He's quite quick. da 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 Okay. Uh, can we like not get killed, please? If my saber tooth gets killed, ah, so a Zeno claws. Okay. That, I regret to say, was not worth it. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, this is a terrible day, bro! Oh, man. Well, um... Was that worth doing? Um, no. I mean, I got myself some Therizino claws, but uh, yeah. How many shots with a shotgun does it take to take down a Therizino? Four, and a saber tooth death. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it's going to be time to win the episode. We can get ourselves another saber tooth pretty easily, guys. I'm actually not that salty about it. It's not that difficult to do. But guys, if you enjoyed the episode, a like rating as always would be super appreciated hit that no oh, hold on i am holding back burps guys like i say if you enjoyed it a like rating would be appreciated hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content guys and that is gonna wrap it up for today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time